objectives that we discussed today. Compare and order fractions, whose denominators are all multiples of the same number. If you can see the graphical representation in front of us, first of all, we will calculate the total amount of the parts that we have. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Therefore, our denominator will be equal to the total parts. And the colored parts are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Therefore, our numerator will be equal to the colored part. Hence, the numerator is 11 and the denominator is 12. In another example, you can see the same picture but with the different color portions. Therefore, the color parts in this picture are 4. Hence, our numerator will be 4 and the total parts will remain the same. Hence, the denominator is 12. Now, can we compare these two pictures according to the uh, fractions that is in front of us? Yes. Why? Because the denominators are Hence, which one is greater, 11 or 4? Of course, 11. Therefore, our alligator face will be open towards 11 by 12 rather than 4 over 12. Hence, 11 by 12 is greater than 4 by 12. Let's see another example. In this pictorial graph, you can see the total number of the parts is 4 and the colored parts are 2. Hence, our fraction would be 2 upon 4. And in the same picture, the next part, we have three color portions and total four portions. Therefore, our fraction will be three upon four. Now, in this uh, example, we can easily see three is larger than two. Therefore, our alligator face will move or opens towards the right side, which is three upon four. Now, let's do some uh, practice problems or practice sums. The first uh, sum or the fraction is 7 upon 11 and the next one is 5 upon 11. Now can we compare them? Yes. The denominator will always be the same and the numerator uh, can be compared according to it. So 7 and 5, which one is greater? 7. Therefore our alligator face uh, will open towards left and 7 upon 11 will be the larger fraction. Another example or another question, 12 upon 19 or 13 upon 19. The denominators are again the same, hence we will decide upon the numerator values. Therefore, if among 12 and 13, 13 is large. Therefore, the alligator face open towards right side and the 13 upon 19 will be the large. Now, what if we have this scenario in front of us where the denominators are not the same? Then how can we compare these two fractions together? In this scenario, we have to find a common factor which, uh, which can multiply with the denominator of one side to be equivalent to the other side. In this scenario, 4 is a factor of 12. Therefore, if we will multiply something with 4, that uh, <clears throat> number can equalize the left side fraction towards the right side. Now, 3 upon 4 has a factor uh, if we use the factor 3. Then we can equalize the denominator. So, 3 will not be uh, multiplied alone with the denominator. It has to be multiplied with the numerator as well. Hence, 3 multiplied by 3, the two numerators will be multiplied together. Hence, 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9. And 4 multiplied by 3 will be multiplied together to equalize the denominator. Hence, we will get 9 upon 3. The old fraction was 5 uh, over 12 and the new fraction is 9 over 12. Now we can easily compare as our denominators are in this scenario 9 upon 12 is larger than 5 upon 12. Therefore the alligator face will open towards them. Let's see another example with the same scenario 5 upon 9 and 17 upon 18. In this example we have a factor 9 is a factor of 18 therefore we have to find a number which if multiplied with the 9 can be equivalent to 18 which is number 2 so we will multiply the old fraction 5 upon 9 with the new fraction 2 upon 2 2 will be multiplied with the denominator as well as with the numerator to get a new fraction therefore the denominator will be equalized according to uh, the old one which is 18 and the new numerator will be 10 which is 5 multiplied by 2. Now, taking this uh, uh, in scenario, in the new uh, equation or the new fraction is 10 upon 18 and the old one was 17 upon 18. Now, if we compare them, we can easily see 17 is larger than 10. 
Hence, the bigger fraction is 17 upon 18. Therefore, the alligator face will open towards the right. Now, next topic in this fractions is ordering fractions. How can we do this? We have to have a set of fractions in front of us with a common denominator equal to each. Therefore, we have a common denominator which is all equal to each other number 12. And we have scenarios uh, of, different num of different numerators. Now let's see what scenario do we have uh, or which order we have to arrange the fraction. Arrange the fractions in increasing order. Increasing order means that we have to arrange them from smallest to large. Among this set of fractions, the smallest value in the numerator is 2. Therefore, the first set of fractions comes here is 2 upon 12. The second will be 4 upon 12. The third is 5 upon 12. Then we have 7 upon 12. And the last one is 10. In this way, we have arranged this set of fractions from smallest to largest in an increasing order. Now, let's see another example of decreasing order. Same scenario, we have a set of fractions in front of us. We, have, we can see that the denominators are all equal to each other. Now, decreasing order means that it has to be from the largest to the smallest. Therefore, the first fraction that will come here will be the largest among this group. The first one is 7 upon 3. Then after this, the smallest one after 7 is 6 upon 8. Then after uh, smallest from 6 upon 8 is 5 upon 8. Then we have 3 upon 8. And the smallest one among this group is 1 upon 8. Now from this example, you can see we have arranged this set of uh, uh, fractions into decreasing order, starting from the largest to smallest in an order. Decreasing. I hope you will understand both of the concepts in which we have told you what is a fraction, how we can represent fraction and how can we equalize them and compare them. And the second one is how can we order them from increasing to decreasing order from smallest to largest or largest to smallest on the basis of equivalent denominator.